Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I am terribly excited to share how to make a spring bouquet of mixed flowers. And what I love about the spring is it gives a little one here, it might give you two over there, it might give you three over there. And just recently I had to do a bouquet for a friend of mine and she loved spring flowers. Well, the other thing about spring flowers is it depends on what the, the winter was like as, and then into the spring to what the weather's like too, as I said, what spring will actually give you. The other, and I'm also going to show you how to make this using artificial flowers and we're going to put a few fresh flowers in it and the, the little girl that I did not, the wedding I did not so long ago, all she could get were a few narcissi as well. I've got a few narcissus and that's all I've got, but I've also got some nice little roses. So I want to show you how you can put this together and putting in a few fresh flowers, produce something that a wee girl who is getting married can have what she desires. To begin, I'm going to start off with my little fresh flowers. I'm going to put those into the inside. I'm using these first because I'm going to work from the inside out. So with those, I've got a few roses. The other thing about the roses is they don't last very long. So when you're putting them into this type of bouquet, which is a loose and formal bouquet or gathering of flowers, you just have to be mindful of the fact that these might not last all day. So when you're putting them into the bouquet, what I suggest you do is put those into the center and they're gonna have the weight of the other flowers to support them. So with the jonquils, got three little lavender roses and I'm going to bring a pink into there and a pink over to this side. Now they're not matching, matching and they're not balanced, but that doesn't matter for what we're doing today. Now the next to go into there is going to be an artificial rose. So now I'm just getting a little bit more visual interest into my bouquet. The next to go into here is I've got one white real touch rose which I'm going to put into there like so. Now this here is going to, it's a handheld so this is going to form your handle. So you need to make sure that all of your stems are nice and straight as you go because if this gets too thick and it's untidy it's going to be hard to fix it. To, with that I've got two of those so I'm going to put one of those over to there and then I'm going to bring the other one over to there so the whites are balanced. To that I'm going to add a little bit of lilac so I'm just going to take when you get your next form just take your hand and that stem and just push that up like so. So that's now creating a nice little base for everything to sit onto. Now I've slightly bent this one and I'm going to do exactly the same again. So you can see how I'm building this lovely picture of spring flowers. Now I might just lift that one and that one up just a little bit for now. The next thing to go in is going to be the different coloured lilac. So I'm going to bring that over to there. I've got three pieces so I'm going to bring one to there. I'll bring the other one over and into there and with the third one I'll bring that around and over to the back holding everything like quite firmly with your left or your right hand. So there we have this lovely little picture of blooms all starting and the other thing about using the artificial lilac is I know it's going to sub it's going to behave all day and it's not going to get the wilt on. The next thing I thought I'd like to add into here is a daffodil. Now, do I like that daffodil in there or don't I? Actually, I do because I've got the little jonquils into there and I really love the colour. But do I like it? Now, this is when working in front of a mirror is a really good idea. I would like to use it, but especially with the fresh, what happens is you have these leaves down there and when they get incorporated into the design, these here are going to make it really thick and if you're using the fresh ones, I would suggest you take them off. I don't want all this bulk down here, so right about now, I'm not going to use those. I don't want to because I don't think I want a big thick handle. Okay, now I've got three lovely spring pink, or two actually, lovely spring pink 
peonies, which I absolutely love. So they can go out to this. I've got one on that side and one on that side. And then the last to go in are going to be these lovely little ranunculus. So I've got three of those. One can go there, one can go around to there. And with the two apricots, I'll bring one over to there. That can move around to there and that can go, get those stems all nice and flat and that can go into there. Now I'm looking at that and I'm thinking that that's just a little bit too low so I'm just going to give that just a little bit of love and those are poking the wrong way but that's okay and that there is out too far so because I'm still holding it what I can do now is I can go in there and I can sort of still move those so that I can get them into place. Now once you get to there Oh, that is so sweet. Getting a wire, a uh, cable tie, bringing that around like so, get rid of that leaf there, and then we'll just bring that into there and just pull that off so that that's nice and firm. Now, Often what I will do with a bouquet when I'm finishing is I'll use the, some lovely leaves. So see what happens when you put that lovely leaf there. It just So looking into the bouquet, all you can do is you can see stems. But if you want to just finish that off and give it a little bit more support, just adding two or three of those around the outside of your bouquet is going to mean that you've got a nice collar or support structure in which to hold your flowers. Now when it comes to cutting your blooms, bring two hands together and for me anyway, I like to cut it just below my hand there and you get a perfectly even and beautifully balanced handle. Now there's, go back and have a look at, there's a lot of examples of how to finish your bouquets. Just have a look at those and you might want to put some ribbon, some jute, some fabric, whatever you want around it to finish it off. But isn't that just so cute? I just love it. I will see you all again another day. Thanks for watching.